We have seen a lot of zombie movies over the years. A dead person who is revived is called a zombie. Scientists in Russia have revived a virus that is around 48,500 years old. It has been labeled the zombie virus. It has sparked fears of another COVID-style pandemic because the humans of today may not have immunity to ancient bacteria and viruses. Viruses are found in almost every ecosystem on Earth and they infect all life forms, including plants, animals and humans. A virus can remain in a dormant state for thousands of years until it gains access to the living cells of an organism. It is then the virus injects its genetic material and starts replicating or making copies of itself. The virus multiplies and moves into more cells, making the organism sick. Now the zombie virus was revived from the Siberian permafrost. Any ground that remains completely frozen for at least two years straight is called permafrost. Basically, the temperature is below zero degrees centigrade and the soil, rocks and sand are held together by ice. Almost a quarter of the land area in the northern hemisphere has permafrost underneath. As a result of global warming, the permafrost is melting. Because of this, the organic materials that were frozen up for millions of years are getting released into the atmosphere. These organic materials contain viruses that have remained dormant since prehistorical times. Scientists have warned that pandemics will become more common in the future as melting permafrost will release long dormant viruses. As an example, the periodical return of the anthrax epidemic has been linked to the bacteria getting back into circulation due to the thawing of the permafrost layers. A study claims that more than 40% of the world's permafrost may vanish by the end of the 21st century. After the permafrost melts, these areas will become habitable. People will populate these areas eventually. It is then there may be a threat of new bacteria and viruses infecting life forms. Also, these microorganisms might be antibiotic resistant, which is a cause of great concern. What we have discovered so far might only be the tip of the iceberg, as there are likely more trapped bacteria, viruses and radioactive materials yet to be discovered. Further, there is the risk that the toxic byproducts of mining, drilling and fossil fuel waste buried in permafrost can resurface. Also, the melting of the permafrost will trigger a vicious cycle as the organic matter released by melting will decompose into carbon dioxide and methane, thereby further enhancing the greenhouse effect and accelerating the melt. After researching the live cultures, scientists have said that the zombie virus has the potential to be infectious and hence poses a health danger. More research is required to clearly know the level of infectiousness of these viruses when exposed to environmental variables like light, heat, oxygen, etc. It is high time we realize that climate change is a humongous and pervasive threat to the world. Poorest nations are paying the heaviest price as they are least able to cope. It is nothing but injustice and inaction by developed economies and major corporations. The biggest contribution to climate change comes from human beings and their consumption. Lowering population and consumption will restore the health of our planet. I hope you understood how climate change induced thawing of the permafrost could lead to more pandemics in the future. That is all for this session. Thank you for your time.